So let's go on to the next and final presentation. Mr. Mr. Jerry Alessani from ECOVAS as representative of the regional uh, representative, uh, uh, and he helps um, countries draft their reports. Hello. Well, we can hear you. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, for your invitation to uh, take part in this webinar. I would like now to. Uh, I'm board of water resources at ECOWAS, based in Wagadugu. And, and with regard to drafting of, of reports, 65 for 652, the third report, we sought to give some thought into this issue and um, give a few lines of thought here. We haven't taken part in the first two reports as such, but uh, this has been, been dealt uh, by, by other reports, and other reports have um, led to a number of thoughts and uh, ideas of how to approach this in terms of uh, easing the process rather than coordination as such as to regard the uh, or regional organization in um, providing this report. Uh, presentation here covers two points. Operation for working together and coordinating in drafting a national report uh, in West Africa. And uh, and when in, uh, we can look into what proposals can be made to this end. Next slide. Thank you very much. Uh, opportunities in West Africa in this sphere uh, lie at a number of different levels. There you have West Africa on the screen there. with the cross-border water courses. As you see, there are about 25 basins of transboundary nature, uh, 5.2 million square kilometers in the region. Uh, this it shows that countries are uh, bound and need to cooperate uh, in the management uh, of resources as part of ECOWAS. Uh, this is an economic integration uh, organization based on the agreements between states. They have the states for the member of the ECOWAS here. And in for the purpose of this report, we have um, Cap Verde, which is not very much engaged in this compared to to uh, with regard to aquifers aquifers but it is engaged in terms of uh, groundwater uh, it, well in fact it's not concerned very much with groundwater in fact but compared to other countries uh and engaged are active uh, are covered in all the other countries and they need to work jointly, carefully together, and as part of uh, ECOVAS, so an organization set up on the 21st of 28th of May 1975, and now comprises uh, 15 countries: Benin, Burkina Faso, Cap Verde, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Niger, Nigeria. Senegal, Sierra Leone, and uh, Togo. 
there you have the broad base of our situation. And in the next slide here, uh, this lays out the types of coordination and agreement. This gives out the political framework, the region, uh, uh, the organization deals with water in a specific region and provided by the ECOWAS and other organizations. And the third axis of this policy focuses on the promotion and cooperation and integration on a regional basis and uh, seeks to encourage uh, ties between countries and order that they work on a lastingly peaceful basis uh, in management of water in Western Europe. We could also say that within the region, six uh, operating up, uh, operations are up and running, and these need uh, comparing uh, in relation to different criteria mentioned before. They have the MBS. ABN, ABM, a, a, ABM, etc. ABV, ABM, and uh, CPLT. This so organization uh, promoting in, in uh, Gambia. We look at uh, Tokyo, the basins in Mono, etc and also other engaged in Chen, who in other countries are not engaged in ECOVOS. Basins in being created in the management of water, uh, uh, not necessarily included, uh, approved as yet. The five member states uh, uh, form part of the Convention on Water, Senegal, Ghana, Guinea-Bissau, Togo, and Nigeria. And uh, if you could speed up a bit, please. We're a bit uh, we're lagging behind a bit, please. Thank you very much. No, I can. I'll try and do that. I'll try and speed up a bit. So that's the overall picture here. So this um, slides will be shared. So uh, I just like to say now simply that in terms of the ECOVOS. We we work closely. Uh, uh, the AMCO Observatory, and in order to gather data from April to June, and this process will be launched imminently. In the in the first two reports, we have thirteen member states, which. Uh, contributing to the production of reports and we hope that and the 14 will be engaged uh, for producing the third report underway so what we're seeking to do here is to encourage cooperation between states in the region so to ensure that uh, different concerns of member states can be uh, can be confronted, let's say, in terms of reports in different countries, and therefore we can have a national coordination platform that we can work on together, in as part of AMCO to gather data, to find a legal framework for the drafting of these reports, and the focal point. Uh, 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 which are already in place, which will work uh, with uh, other countries in the basins to draft these, re these reports and the focal points in each country, which will be able to identify those points that are necessary to indicate uh, to draft the report. Notably, in terms of data, groundwater, for example. Uh, so that we can uh, resolve these issues 
via the various institutions uh, engaged regionally and inter internationally, like UNESCO, for example. So via these processes and reports, we think we will be able to capitalize, capitalize on the data gathered on a regional basis, uh, as I say, with AMCAO and uh, cooperate with the focal points in countries in order to uh, draft the reports and to identify needs of a technical nature, etc., in relation to the report and working closely with UNESCO and other organizations involved in this process so they can provide specific um, assistance to specific countries and to also uh, ensure that countries are engaged uh, in this report in, in relation to 652 uh, and in the process with AMCO and uh, accompaniment uh, limited technical nature for the drafting of the report and relation or relations of Africa, West Africa uh, and an improvement of reinforcement of uh, cooperation on a regional nature. So this approach this approach could uh, help us to better understand the challenges uh, to reach uh, the aims of indicator 652 and also to provide the right response at national and regional level uh, to rise to the challenges uh, to promote uh, joint uh, integrated sustainable management uh, in a peaceful manner of uh, the water resources shared in West Africa. I think we all understand the difficulties and experience that our countries have had in drafting the two previous reports and that could be uh, capitalized on by uh, the countries in drafting the coming reports and this is an experience we'd like to share with other countries in the region and we'd also like to uh, say that we have had a certain number of uh, uh, meetings and activities uh, uh, organized for the drafting of the previous reports. We don't have anything uh, at sub-regional level in Africa, but we do have contacts between countries on shared issues. Uh, uh, also with the two co-coordinating agencies. So that is my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you for showing how uh, regional organizations can also be of assistance to countries for the purpose of uh, coordinating uh, the reports. And uh, RBOs have a very important role to play here.